BZ, what's going on, y'all? This your boy BZ from Extreme Sports Star 305. Man, this NBA Finals. You teach y'all see how the mommy he got punched in the mouth? Woo! Yes, we did. You know why? It's their fault. It really is. It really is because the Miami Heat was up 3-0 against the Boston Celtics. You had a chance to go 4-0 and you played around. See, up and you played around and you, you drag your time and go seven game series when you really only had to do four. Once you seen the, when um, Denver Nuggets here got rid of the Lakers in four, four games, that means I, I got to have a sense of urgency and it's a four game suit so I can have enough rest there. But no, you played around here and you go seven game series and now y'all look exhausted and tired. I mean, exactly. And now at the game one here, you got slapped in the face and punched them out here, and you couldn't hit back because you're too tired. I mean, come on. Them people look so big. I mean, like over each and every body over there. Gabe Vincent, about six foot. I see him over trying to put a hand in front of Porter. He'll pour about 6'10. He don't see it. Hand down, man down, like Mar Jackson said. I see Larry over there trying to guard Aaron Gordon. Aaron going back that man down all the way to the rim, like it was a blind side. He had no chance at all. Plain and simple here, Miami here. When you're playing Boston or playing somebody with your 3-0, finish the job early. Because the team you're playing now, it's not Boston. I'm going to say it again. The team you're playing now, it's not Boston. This team over here, in the Mile House Stadium in Denver, they is not going to play with you. With a two-time MVP, you got Murray, they got Porter. They, they got these people here so big, it don't make no sense over these people. Because Bam, he, he's playing center, and he's about 6'9", and really a power forward. They got two-time MVP, Jokic here. Lino, you know, you like, like he ties in free like as a boxer here. Y'all got to get ready because you come out ain't ready how they is ready the first time. You're going to get like that again. One, it's going to happen each and every game. Plain and simple. Denver Nuggets is on a mission. You got have to match the energy. If you don't match the energy, it's going to be like that every game. They hungry. I think Spo is a better coach here, but he can't coach effort. Jimmy Butler, you had 13 points. You can't have 13 points in, in, in the finals and they say, because that's what and expect to win because it go off you. They lead by your example. They call you playoff Jimmy. Well, Jimmy, that ain't going to cut it here. That 13, we don't need 13. Double that on, on in this series here. You're going to need about 15 first quarter, but you might need 10 in the second quarter, another 15 in the third, and you might need about 25 in the fourth. Because if they will keep shooting like this, then he got no chance. Martin. Martin, I thought I was watching for you, Martin, from the last year against Boston. You came out shooting like uh, Brick City. I don't know. You had, you had more bricks than Gucci, man. <laughs> hey, have a brick. Hey, you had more bricks than who knows, man. Uh, you got, uh, who, who else we got here? Larry hit by two threes. Hey, he, he walked like he 40. I don't know if he need a knee brace here. I, mean, I think this might be his last season. I mean, he's so slow out there, man. I think mean, my grandma might be faster than him. Who else you got? You got Gabe Vincent. Gabe Vincent hit by three. And that's probably about it. He hit about 11. It's Tyler Hero. He need to come back. Listen here. Hero. Which hero? Um, chicken dinner. He, just, just, just wait to come back home right now. Because if you come to your thing, we need everybody at the same time. Game two be all right. I think just come, come back in game three when you're fresh here. Because if you came back game one, it would make no difference. really didn't. Because they want each and everybody here was shooting so often. It didn't make no sense. Like they shooting. They, they couldn't see the rim. Ain't no way the Heat had a chance when you only shooting two free throws. You shooting three. I don't know. Y'all might say you're rig or something, but I ain't seen him go to the hole at all. I just see him shooting these balls here from from from, from the park a lot, like that, like they stepping clay. They couldn't hit nothing. Man, they shoot like my cousin out there. And he he only got left hand. That ain't my fault. But you gotta do better, Miami. You got to. Man, let's break it down. Let me tell you what my hey Miami. Hey, <laughs> listen to me, to me. Spoke <laughs> all that. What you need to do here is. All that 2 3 zone here with the other teams, this team too small for that. Too smart. You can't do that. With your, hey, all that zone 2 3, I'm going to go in guard here and guard here. they shooting over there and they got somebody too small that Jokic here. He passing like he didn't out there, like he on the Globe Trotters. He, he, I thought it was magic out there. Stop it. Too good. Change it up. Man to man. man. Bam. Put your big boys on. Put your shoes on here. Man up here, okay? All that soft, they tell me touch your hand, the ball out, cut it out. How bad you want it? Get on Jokic here. Hey, if you, Jokic get 30 or 40, that's fine. Make sure the others don't get theirs. It's plain and simple. Guard everybody else. If he get 30 or 40 here, they don't get theirs. Make it threes. Jimmy Butler just keep attacking, keep attacking the basket. Make sure you get here. Bam. Go. You, you attack the basket. You had 18, 19. Yeah, about 20 some points last game. Good job. Keep doing your thing. Do not double. Just let Jokic get his and take care of the other man. Trust me, it's gonna work. Hey, if it worked here and it get time game three, I'm saying I ain't tell you so. Hey, Spoke, holla at me if it worked. 
Hey, give me a little change here. Trust me, I'm trying to tell you. That's going to work. That's going to be the only chance here because they is so tough at home. The Devil Nuggets is undefeated at home. Hey, anything can happen. Spo, all that. Me. It happens. You got to change it up. Second, now this is what I'm going to talk about here. Y'all boy here, John Morant. <laughs> your boy want to do it all. The boy want to play with guns through the hill. He want to be on Grand Theft Auto. He want to be a thug so bad. He want to be like Tupac. I don't know. That boy crazy. Millions of dollars, you want to do all this? Some people ain't got it all. I really think. Some people really don't have it all. Because the first time you guys are spending, I think, out of civil with light on you, he give you eight games. Yeah, it's your first time. That's like saying, yeah, I still saw him at, at, at the mall one time. Look, Candy. Hey, he give me a little warning. You, you go on. He gave you a little warning. But now you got to spend for eight games and you come back here. But then, and then you told Adam Silver, hey, I learned my lesson. I apologize. That's on me. It won't happen again. Cool. And he gave you community service hours. E easy. Now, after you lose a series with the Lakers here, you know what happens? You're going to call. You're back doing it again. You pull that gun out again here and you doing your thing again. You want to spank your, your, your friend here to pull out the phone to go live, huh? Go live, go live. You're going to spank that. It don't matter if you pull it out or not if you go live here because you still pull that out because if, if you're riding, some of you here, you will get caught regardless. So, I mean, you didn't learn no lesson. It really did. I don't know if it stuck in your head. Hey, I don't know you. Maybe you really is a thug. Hey, hey that's on you. But I don't care. If you're a thug or not, Ain't no thug that dumb to lose millions of dollars over and over and over. So maybe you just ain't got it. So now, from Adam Silver to say right before the game here, I don't want to tell y'all here's a suspension here because here it might interrupt here in the playoffs. I think this series of playoffs is going to be the ticket sales to watch is very low because these teams in the finals very low. For him to say that here and he said they got some new information, that means you know, if you got some new information, hey, if you don't get caught, I'm going to tell you one thing. Don't lie. That means you must have lied to the Adam Silver the first time, and, and now he got some new information. So now he got some new information, there's going to be some smoke in the city. I ain't going to lie. So what kind of suspension are you going to get? 10 games, 20 games, 30, probably what, 15 community service hours? I, I, I don't know. I think, hey, I'm not hating nobody. I think he's going to get it half for the season. Yeah, I said it. He gonna make a statement out of here. That's my opinion. Gonna half for the season. Hey, I heard one comment on his fans say you going to get it. You might get a year. He can make it. It's a. You lied to his face. He got more information. He brought more people involved. For you, he, he gotta hit it or hurts. But you, he gonna lose some money. Hey, your father comes to every game, so I'm, I'm, I don't know. Who, you ain't listening to him, so I don't know who you listen to. So I guess they gotta hit, hit, hit you where it hurt the pockets, because it's gonna be tough. Because as soon as the NBA finals, they find out how much you losing your games, how many games you gonna be out. Woo, man. I ain't, listen. I ain't that, some people ain't that bright, but they ain't losing that much money here. Because, you know, each game you know going to be out, you're losing all your money. So I'm thinking you might as well just save, not invest now. I'm trying to tell you, it's going to be deep. I've been mean, half of the season. It is what it is, but that's on you, brother. I still represent you, but see, I see your shoes got sold out real quick. Because they know it might be your last pair of shoes. They have your name on it. So they're going to say these are job of rent to last ever because you lost a thousand endorsements. Hey, I hope you learned your lesson. Clean up. I heard you unfollow your friend. You're going to follow him the first time, but like you did the second time, you're going to follow him back in. I apologize. That's on you. Last but not least here, I want to talk about here. Shannon Shaw. Woo! Shay Shay. Uh, you want to call him here, you know, from uh, former Denver Broncos here, former Baltimore Ravens again, Baltimore Ravens, two-time champion here. Hey, he is leaving Fox Sports here with uh, Skip Bayless here. Woo! They might, hey, that was, he's been there for about six years here with Skip Bayless here. Somebody was so surprised that he's leaving Skip Bayless. They want to know what happened. My thing is, after the situation with DeMar Hamlin, when DeMar Hamlin, I said some people say he died on the field, and it was tough. Like, we couldn't restart that game here. And he say, why did he stop the game for? Yeah, he died. Just, just slide him over and continue the game. I was like, excuse me? Slide him over? What you mean, continue the game? Like, what you mean, like, stop it, like, keep going? <laughs> I know this. It was sad because the way he the way he heard it so it Some people say you say you say he passed away, but he came back alive, and it was crazy. He said he had to just stop everything and worry about him. And we were shocked. And then he put a tweet out here about the situation here, and we was all shocked. And Shannon Shaw couldn't believe it anyway. He couldn't believe what he said here, and he he didn't come to work the next day. He didn't come to work the next day. If he didn't come to work, that's how serious the tweet was here. And then when he finally came back to work here, he brought it up here and said, hey, I apologize here on uh, my situation, but I think here that Skip Bayless 
Shit, to took the tweet down. He apologized, and then Skip say, "I'm not apologizing for nothing." So once I apologize for nothing, and he's getting frustrated, he say, "Skip, Skip, you know, Skip, you know, Skip, Skip." He, and he said his name so many different times. We like Skip. I didn't come over here to reset my situation of what's going on, what happened to me through Mark Hamlin. I'm trying. He said he cut me get a uh, his introduction off for you interrupting him. So he didn't like that here. Bring it up, and and when Skip didn't apologize. Now nah, it's a problem with him because he, he think that's that's very tough here. He's a black guy, black man. It's tough. And also another situation here is when how he loved Tom Brady. He loved Tom Brady so much here, and they had a little argument. And he told Skip, "Hey, I'm in the Hall of Fame too. I'm in the Hall of Fame too." Skip say, "So what?" But he's better than you. So he trying to say, "Wait, like, basically you ain't nobody to him. You trash just and that. See, for disrespect, so you cannot fall disrespect on the show here, and you still go along." And what Skip is. So it's tough. It's, everybody gonna have an argument back and forth, but why you on your show, you co You still gotta respect him, man. You still got to. Hey, hey Skip Bayless, he got no chill. He been doing this for years. But hey, he gotta go somewhere where you feel respected and feel happy. But I understand. Hey, so where do I think Shannon Sharp should go to? ESPN. That's an option. Fox Sports here with another. I doubt if he's still with Fox Sports here because he says he's leaving Fox Sports or is he just gonna leave Shannon Sharp? Some people left. Um, Skip Bayless and went to a you know, Herb show, uh, a different, different album show. So, um, I think he's a couple of streets, boys. I'll tell you on fire. Even ask me who me, come straight, straight. Woo, you believe that? Oh, uh, and B's here, streets, boys, three or five. Movie. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, it works. Come on, his, he, he, how he talks here, he can put, uh, put a little hand to see there. He can't react. He can get a little, you know, something here and there. And with me, with my expression here, well, you can't beat that. Stephen A. don't want him all the time. For, he he want to bring him here on and on. He need to be on every day. Every day, you feel me? Hey, we, hey Sham, we can make that happen. But I think he need to find some other spot here like he, like he did skip. Be like every day because I don't think Steve Day said he don't want he want him all, he want him on ESPN but not every day. He want him like he come every other Monday. I you know fans, it's nice to be on ESPN but go on first tape. But how you go for being from Monday to Friday? They go from oh I give him one time a week. No, no. It, he showed you that he could talk about all sports, football, basketball, boxing, everything. So Club Shay Shay up. All right, Mr. Sports out 305. Let's, let's get to it. Now, it's going down now. Uh, hey, Stream Sports out 305. We're going to break it down here for the next episode coming up here. If you have any questions, man, make sure y'all follow me at, or uh, you have on Twitter at Stream Sports out 305. We have on Facebook at Stream Sports Talk. And you also have here on IG at Stream Sports Live 305. And subscribe here, Stream Sports 305. Shit!